Hi guys, welcome to my um, first video of my YouTube channel where I used to talk about how I learn things and share some knowledge uh, in the early stage of learning. So the first no uh, knowledge point that I want to mention when I learn wireless communication is how is the electromagnetic wave propagate? So we know from Fermat, Matt, that light propagate from A to B usually is in the form of straight line. And if it has to reflect, it will be something like you find a reflected point here and you connect this to and you find the intersect point A. So the shortest pass or line of sight pass is AO plus OB, right? Then this got me thinking, isn't the light or the signal propagate in the air with a form of straight line. It should always be straight line, right? Then why we see all this, all that kind of like a, you know, fine pseudo way, right? Why we call it wave? You hear the term wave all the time, right? That we have to mention Two buddies name. One is called Maxwell and the other is Faraday. Um you might heard the those this two name in, in the high school and this guy he mentioned that in a uh, substance when the electric field change, the magnetic field will change with it. And this guy mentioned quite the opposite, which is when magnetic field change, ele electric field change with it, right? So with this, we know when the light starting to travel from here to here, at any moment delta T, the electric field of that position will change and the magnetic field position will change as well vice versa right because they are kind of like you know helping each other and they are doing things with each other so how can we you know um, draw this and to visualize it right so here is how how we do it Let's say this is the direction of light propagation and this is the direction of electro el electric field and this is the magnetic field. They are always perpendicular to each other, right? And next thing we know is um, they, they should be zero at the same time and Z should be reaching the maximum value at the same time as well. But they are always perpendicular to each other. And we will mention more about it in polarization um, in the later. Right. So how are we going to draw this? Um, so this is direction. This point. Right, and we, and this is the wave of electric wave, and from here, this is the drawing of um, the magnetic field. So both of this wave, they uh, refer to the same equation, something like, uh, you know,
So next in next video, I will talk about um, what's the A and what's the Y, what's F, what's base, and thanks for watching. This is everything. Um, you know, this is my first time, so I hope uh, you guys can tell me what I what kind of mistake that I made, and I will do better in next time. Thank you so much for watching.